part of the red light stoppage. She didn't stop after it and drop it part of it. So it's had to go to the rear. I think the taxi had to put back on his wheels as well because it was rolled over with a complicated change of argument.
Lord Hill likes to cast up someone off like Kicks. Did it just jump out of here? Yeah, I'm not sure. It was, it was you know, a lot over there for a second, they just kind of quit. So, But it was Iowa when I pulled over and stuff. But uh, got to say thanks to Dave Harrell and Scott English for bringing us out. Give us such great interest. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for those guys, we wouldn't be here. So thanks to those guys and thanks for everybody coming out. Have a safe trip home, Matt. Thank you. Trevor Green here as well as he's talking with Matt. Where are you, buddy? Somebody get that big moment to bring him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I need to be just to do whatever, but... Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Still 26 laps to go, Waddy. A lot of racing in this one. Lindsay, however, you're talking about being good early. Yeah, he's that. But Carl came far and forth. Back to tackle is big. Matt Eagle doing a mighty job. Turn one in particular. I had to really get off the slow, get into one. You can see on the car, there's a 
100 for Steve right now, particularly the entrance to turn one. He was losing car speed there. He was right up on the tail two of the national champion, James McFadden. I just wonder, he was sitting behind him four or five laps, whether he had a chance to think, am I carrying good enough car speed? Are we staying ahead of the pack? I know if you're watching the counter as well with 14 to run, he knows there's plenty of laps as McHale's already shown the nose. And the signal will be coming from the crew as you said, he's a top four fighter tapping the head. If you're looking for the crew to through the fence, are we telling him up high or down low? Do you have some idea where is quick? Because he wouldn't know that compared to where the other guys are fast. Having said that, he hasn't felt any heat, so he probably knows the car speed's good. Maybe five or six laps of clear traffic before he tacks onto the tail of the back market. McCall, Hayden, Barb, Tatnell. Who set up for the final five laps? He's a great job at the moment too in that seventh position. Battling with Burkott and Beal. Tonight, but uh, 
I'll tell you what, the car was really strong then. We could run the top, we could run the bottom. Start at 13th, I think we were up to 6th there or something like that. It was hard work, mate. You've got a hell of a job, mate. It's a really racy track. It's in all 100 cars, and you're running inside the top 7. It's an incredible feat, mate. Yeah, well, exactly. You know, um, it's been a great effort by the whole team uh, this, this week, and uh, just can't thank them all enough and all my sponsors, you know, uh, Repeat Earthworks, uh, Advanced Radio Science, National Karate Academies, uh, here we go, little American diecast, you know, all these guys. Help get me here this weekend and put rubber on the car, and, and uh, it's just a shame we finish this way. Well done, mate. Well done. Thank you, Wade. Gee, he handled that very well, didn't he? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. What a round of applause for Matt Eagle. You can tell he was grinding his teeth on that. He handled it very, very diplomatically. Just here, Murky going for the same spot. We know that Murky's an uncompromising racer. He wanted that spot too. Taking a bit of time now to get that 29 car off the wall.